year ago, I was in my office and there were three little girls banging on the glass outside our makerspace. And they must have been maybe eight years old, nine, and they wanted to know what we were doing in here. And so I let them in, showed them around. Those three little girls came in on a Friday afternoon after school, because it's an early release. And before you knew it, the three girls invited more friends and there were 10 girls. And then the next thing you knew, from noon to eight, we had a full makerspace. That is the story behind Utah STEM Action Center's Tinker Time. And it has quickly become an amazing asset for the community. Sounds fun, but what is Tinker Time? And is it something that could help your family? Utah's Weather Authority, Allison Krogan, digs in. As soon as I heard about Tinker Time at Utah's STEM Action Center, I knew I had to check it out. This comes through here, and you can see the little motor block right here. It's basically a 2,000 square foot workspace called an innovation hub or a maker space. It's filled with amazing technology like 3D printers, laser cutters, and staff members and volunteers to help you with projects. We've got all the tools here needed to really do any sort of project that you can imagine. Every Friday, they host Tinker Time. So, Tinker Time is our open opportunity for folks in the community to stop in and work on personal projects. It is completely unstructured. So, you come in here, we'll give you some ideas maybe, we'll show you what equipment we have. But but it's really an opportunity for participants to create something that lives in their imagination, right? That's Becca Robinson, the Innovation Hub's manager. Becca is passionate and excited about helping people make their dreams a reality. So what dreams are people working on today? Evelyn, a five-year-old, is creating a solar system lamp thanks to a 3D printer. Did you help do that? Yeah. Yeah? Her mom, Chandra, heard about this space through a homeschooling group. She was telling us about it, so we said, well, we're right here at 12, so we'll just check it out. Yeah. And they were so encouraging. We walked in, and they said, well, what are you interested in? What, what do you want to design? And she said, oh, I love the planets. And, I mean, every step along the way, they're just so encouraging, like anything is possible. Colton, a 12-year-old who lives nearby, is a regular and just finished a project. It's from the cartoon show Ben 10, um, and it was a 3D print that I made and painted myself. Yeah, you would turn the select something and then you'd push it down. And I have it perfectly fit to my wrist. How did, how did you design it to fit your wrist? I have no idea. And I learned how to use a laser. That is too high up, so I'm going to go down. And I'm going to make sure it's barely touching. Quinn, a sophomore in high school, walked me through the process. All right, so I just take the whole thing out yep. first. Look at that. Yeah, we're just going to get some alcohol, rub that off, and yeah. I often have parents reaching out when their kids are interested in STEM, asking for advice on how they can help encourage and foster them to explore their dreams. I would have loved something like this as a kid and even as an adult. Those are the moments I live for because it's so great to see just the spark in their eyes um, and that realization that they can do any of this. All, any of us can do any of this, right? Um, and that's what's so cool about makerspaces is it really empowers regular people um, to create and to innovate and to be STEM people. Utah's a really innovative state, and so we're really excited to see what happens when we put these tools in the hands of regular Utah citizens. If you ever want to come to Tinker Time, it's every single Friday at Utah STEM Action Center from 12 to 8. It's free, it's available to the public, and open to all ages. So if you've got something that you want to create on a 3D printer, like a 3D printed Pikachu, come on down. There's tons of projects that you can work on. You just have to sign up on their website ahead of time, stem.utah.gov. We can also link you over on our website, fox13now.com. In South Salt Lake, I'm Allison Krogan, Fox 13 News, Utah. Mm, now, demand has been so high for Tinker Time that reservations are needed for every person who attends, and that includes parents. Reservations are for two-hour time blocks, and once again, it is free. We can link you from fox13now.com.